So in the Netherlands it's separated. We have separate alcohol departments, but here we have everything and you'll be able to buy a hundred and sixty or seventy dollar whiskey straight in the store. All kinds of uh, gold label, green label, double black. I don't know a lot about it, but uh, I bet there are some good ones here. Then vodka is a lot cheaper. Here we have the Gassiska Corona, which I doubt is selling very well right now. Corona is hitting Russia hard. All jokes aside, we have a lot of Russian vodka. Valenskaya. You would think it's Bulgarian vodka, all of this, but it's not. It's Askaya, uh, these are all Russian. Finlandia, obviously, from Finland. Absolute is from Sweden. And some more expensive wine, Grey Goose vodka. Polish vodka, Bison, Zuprovka, Bele Berioska, Zalotea. I'm learning Russian, so I, I really like it. These are the Bulgarian brands. And they are a lot cheaper. Savoy, which is at Mary Jane. They're not quite good. You get them in a lot of clubs, but they're set the cause. Huge headaches. And obviously, the Ruski Standard is always a bestseller, which we have various labels of as well. I don't drink, personally. Zhytnia from Poland, Alaska, uh, probably Bulgarian, for four and a half euros you can drink yourself into the hospital. Just let me adjust the microphone, I don't know if it's... Sorry, should be better now. Flirt is Bulgarian and they are on the lowest shelf because they are just, uh, I don't know, about the ingredients, they just cause headaches, I believe. But I don't know, I haven't drank it. Here we have Yeniraki from Turkey, which is the anise flavored uh, drinks. Uzu from Greece. And in Bulgaria, we obviously make it as well, but it is called Mastika. Pestera is a small town, it means cave. Pestera Mastika, again, four euros for a big bottle here. It's about 700 milliliters, I believe. Mastika Kanobat. Mints. And there's one for, for two and a half euros. And here's one for your uh, pocket. So yeah, alcohol is big. We have Ararat, which is cognac from uh, Armenia. Metaxa is a Greek liquor. We have Pliska brandy, which I tried and it's surprisingly good. Pliska brandy. I like it. Slunchev Krak, which is uh, sunny beach. This is uh, spirit as well. And we go to the standards. Kaluska, Rakia, obviously, cannot be skipped in Bulgaria. It is a brandy that is often made of grapes or plumes or even pear uh, peaches see you have all kinds and bulgaria does it very well so in fact here you would go for the bulgarian brands another russian one for example you go bulgarian or serbian or perhaps romanian and hungarian for tuika or palinka but here these are all bulgarian brands Jambolska Krosdova, which is Jambol is a city. We have Pesteska as well again. Sungularska Rakia. Slivova, which is blooms. Kaisieva, which is peaches. Trojanska, which is from Trojan. Here you see the Trojan Monastery. Here you see a Serbian one. They have to make it from these kinds of pears. I don't know what they're called. Dulova and uh, Dulova Rakia, or Dunja. If you know what it is in English, leave it in the comments. The sort of pear apple cross thing. 
of 10, which is very nice. Sort of strong wine over the Kia. Turkovic there, which are some of the cheaper brands here. See again, 5 euros for a bottle. Or even less, 3.5, 4. And the wine. Obviously, you want Bulgarian wine, because that's big here. And we don't have, like in the Netherlands, a big section of French wine. No, not at all. We have Bulgarian wine. And perhaps a few, like maximum 5% of other countries. Bulgaria is a wine country, and we're proud of it. Very proud to be one of the oldest wine countries in the world. And in Europe, for sure. Probably the oldest wine country. And you find cheap, but surprisingly good brands as well. The Kovic is very nice. Tramine, I like it. Three euros. Basically, you divide these prices by half and you have euros. So, you have a surprisingly good bottle of wine starting from three euros or even less when there's a discount. Two and a half euros. And the more expensive you go, the better it gets. You have bottles of 10 euros, but uh, you do not need to, to splurge on wine here you can have surprisingly good cheap wines make no mistake all high quality i haven't had a bad wine here i haven't not even in bars or cafes never had a bad wine never had a headache even though i'm prone to these and the red ones here we see some from uh, italy veneto <laughs> Which is the Venice region, northern Italy, Central Valley, Chile, Pinot Noir, Italy. I don't see anything from France. Then you play. Catazina Estate, which is near Chirpan very nice place and hotel winery to stay at Todorov look these these things all look really nice the poker and wines Levant which means where the sun rises so the eastern part of the Mediterranean you can see that wine is big but uh, we have the beer of Bulgarian and foreign brands, but uh, I'm a bit cautious to film everywhere. Yeah, I think that will be it. Uh, we always have cold beer as well, which in the Netherlands we don't have in the stores. You can basically not buy cold beer in a supermarket in the Netherlands, which I think is, well, strange. Here you can just get it and you don't need to refrigerate it at home. And the Rosés, they are some Bulgarians, about half are from other countries, beautiful bottles. I just love the way they do it with the colors. And here you have the cheeses and pasta, so you see that this store is a bit for the uh, higher segment, it's a bit more luxurious. And people really do try to uh, afford themselves a good lifestyle, as you can see. Either way, I think that's long enough. See you in the next video.